Buying a home or renting can feel like a challenge in so many ways. So much research goes into making sure you find the right fit for your forever home or temporary rental. Today, we have one of the biggest money-making moguls and real estate extraordinaires to ensure you are fully prepared. Here to help us count down the top five money traps to avoid whether you own or rent is Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran. She's here somewhere. There she is. Yeah, here I am. The shark with the, <laughs> My pleasure. With nice the sharpest you. bite. We need a bigger boat, I think. I think we do. You didn't trip that time. That was good. Keep cut that out. <laughs> One of the most popular posts we ever made I'm was sure. you walking around because the other sharks had set you up for a fall, but you didn't fall. No. You held on. So let's get to the countdown. The first money trap Barbara wants you to avoid is waiting to buy until prices come down. Why is that a trap? Aren't you supposed to wait for the prices to drop? They're not going to come down. This is the most... Uh, incredible market I've seen in 30 years. They're not going to come down. Money's going to get more expensive. If you decide to wait it out and you're going to try to save more to make up for the deficit, you can't possibly keep up with your down payment on what's going on in housing prices. They've gone up by 18% this year, mm. and I suspect they're going to go up by close to that again next year. So the faster you act, the better you are. So the next Barney trap that Barbara wants you to avoid is making bad improvements that will not get your money back. And this is a bigger problem than ever before. Well, there's a lot of money around. Everybody had too much time to sit at home and think about what they didn't like about their house. And everybody <laughs> became a Mr. Fix-It. And they're ordering supplies that, they, that can't be delivered. There's delays everywhere on any kind of supply you want. And they're spending way too much money. And they're trying to hire contractors that have too much work and aren't giving them a good shake of a price. You've got to bribe your contractor these days. Hey, yeah, marry over. one. It's cheaper. Mar marry yeah. one. <laughs> That's right. That's uh, a good idea. All right. Just so for let's, a year. So let's go over some home improvements. Come yes. to me. Oh, no, yes. Right here. Sorry. sorry. But I want to actually go through this because people sometimes think that all home, home improvements are equally valuable. Yes. So what are the, give me three that you don't want us to do. Well, you don't want to overspend on lighting. Everyone loves a lighthouse, but they want natural light. If you get beautiful chandeliers, it's just not going to pay off. If you improve the electrical, it's not going to pay off. You'll never get the money back. All right. Second, you mentioned landscaping. Not a big fan of it. Well, exotic landscaping. Nothing wrong with putting in a, a new lawn. Uh, you'll get your money back every time. But people go overboard on the landscaping. The appraiser that comes in and appraises your house is not going to give you more money because you have exotic plants. Landscaping is just worth so many points. That's pretty exotic. That's pretty. You got like, a whole stream a back too there. Much. One of everything. <laughs> and speaking of water, what about swimming pools? Good, bad? You no, know, people love to spend money on swimming pools. The average price is forty-eight thousand dollars for an in-ground pool. You'll never get the money back. Two out of three people will buy a house with a pool. Buy it despite the pool, and they backhoe it and fill the fill the pool in. No, two out of three people. Two out of three people won't like your pool after you've done it. My mother-in-law did that. I thought she was unique. I could. <laughs> that's really? Because she's not. You didn't like her pool, did you? No, I liked the pool. She didn't oh. want it. The next money trap is you got to avoid overpaying for appliances. Consumer reporter Heather Herzog is here. She hit some traps in the refrigerator. Yep. Ta-da! And here are some of them, Doctor Oz. Uh, the first one is buying this year's floor model. Oh, my goodness. Now, that, 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 I thought that was a good idea. It is. You would think that it would be a good idea. But let me just tell you, uh, consumers purchase about $5.8 billion worth of appliances each year. So buying this year's floor model is actually costing you more money. You want to buy maybe last year's floor model because it's the same thing, and you're going to save a ton of money doing it. Wow. My wife and I fight about this all the time. She's right. All right. <laughs> item, item number two. <laughs> okay, so buying a floor model that's dented or maybe that's been out on the floor. So going and getting that floor model actually saves not only from all the packaging, right? You get a refrigerator that's delivered to your home. You have to unpack it. There's lots yeah. of cardboard if you're trying to be environmentally conscious. Put it together. And put it together. Exactly. There's no way that I'm doing that. But uh, you are also getting it for less expensive. So, um, you know, it may be out on the floor. It's the same thing. Works just as well. Well, so we should buy the floor model. You definitely should oh, buy the floor oh, model. Now we're talking. Yes. Now. I misunderstood. Of course. Now I'm happy. Yes. You want to buy so, the floor model. So it's one to one with my wife and me. Okay. okay. <laughs> Trap number three. Come on now. Come right. with me. You want to make sure that you're researching the brands that you are buying the, uh, the appliances from. So Barbara knows this. Different houses and different apartments have different types of spaces for your appliances. And there's reasons why some of these great brands are so great right so you want to do your research create a short list figure out what works for your space and then go out and purchase i love practical advice now i know why you do real estate yeah makes it's all practical <laughs> all right as we go to break money trap number four not properly insulating your windows which is going to cost you two hundred dollars a year
Better for the environment too. Save it 200 bucks. Insulate. And coming up, we still have the top money trap Barbara wants you to avoid. She even set up a sting to catch some scammers in the act. We are back with the money mogul herself, Barbara Corcoran, investor from the hit show Shark Tank. I love having you here. I know that. I love when you bite the other sharks too. It's before. I don't do I'm that. I'm cheering for you. On, I'm cheering on. for you. She's counting down the biggest money traps homeowners and renters fall into. It. All right, what's the biggest money trap yet? Are you ready for this, everybody? Barbara has found that it is hiring a bad contractor. Yes. And no one should that. be surprised. No one should be surprised. Have you ever hired anyone who came through on time and on budget? It just doesn't happen. But the single best way I have found to judge a great contractor is get up off the couch, go look at his truck. If a contract has an organized truck, he's going to run your job as best he possibly can and probably deliver on time once in a while. But if he's a mess in the truck, you could, you're actually having a, a preview of how the job's right. going to go. Yeah. It's like looking at someone's office. Absolutely. That's perfect. Yeah. All right, not properly vetting anyone who does work in your home can leave you susceptible to dishonest business practices and cost you a ton of money. Right? And this is true. Med- the most expensive thing in medicine is a bad doctor. Yes, I'm Without sure question. True. Without question. Barbara even set up a sting to show just how low some people will go. Take a look. Barbara Corcoran. She's monitoring everything our hidden cameras pick up. Michael DeShiavi, who's taking her on a tour of a home that we've rigged with hidden cameras. They move on to the living room. Remember, it's here that we've planted signs of two problems, termites and mice. But Jamarla seems oblivious to both. Look down, there's a mouse trap. There's a mouse trap right underneath that sofa. Real estate superstar and shark Barbara Corcoran is monitoring everything our hidden cameras record. On to the kitchen. Will Jamarla notice the mold we artistically created in there? There are a few little details you missed here. Did you happen to see that mouse trap freshly baited? No. What do you think that mouse trap is for? Mouse? Mice? Probably not the children, okay? Because <laughs> I looked at the floors too. Our next guest, Ashley, arrives. Hi, Hi. Ashley. Yes. She looks smart. She's going to spot that mousetrap right in front of her. But Ashley does not spot the mousetraps. Would she spot the mousetrap? Now move yeah. to the middle of the room. Yes, right there. And here you have the nice dining room. Oh. Oh. She stepped over it. And Unbelievable. Yeah. I yeah, give up. That's ridiculous. I, I got to go out and save this girl. Probably perfect. Oh, yeah. I love you being I'm here. Sure I'm I thank you for your tips. Okay. Thank you for your honesty. You. It's right. practical. When someone who's you know super wealthy can yeah. offer advice that anyone can use, yeah. I know how you got where you are. Thank you. I'm not super wealthy, by the way. <laughs> where you go? Don't leave me. Oh, you say goodbye. I thought that was a goodbye. No, it's not goodbye. I'm, I'm hugging you. Oh, is that part of this? Yes, it's part was of my love. Was that part of this show? This is my poetry. You can catch Barbara realize. on Shark Tank Friday nights at 8 p.m. on ABC, but you knew that already. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.